See, this whole thing with blood boxing and I am ill will, man. I, you, you know, maybe I shouldn't talk about it, but fuck it. You know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes it's best to mind your business, but fuck it. You know, it's on YouTube, so uh, it's not like it's not public. So it's another thing, too. But, you know, <clears throat> when people were bad-mouthing my name on Discord and shit like that, calling me a fence rider uh, with King Louie and all that stuff, I didn't go around calling people out of their name. I didn't go around doing this and the third, yelling and hooping and hollering. Telling folks, maybe the best thing for you to do is come holler at me. You know, come talk to me. Um, maybe the other things that I have, uh, you know, conflicts with you with, maybe we can resolve this. Um, and some of those things, it seems like, you know, it's because blood boxing is out here insinuating that certain members of the LDBC or just in general, which I think he's just talking in general about people in general being dick riders or fighters. Because it's not just, he's smart enough to know it's not just Deontay Wilder with dick riders. Uh, it's Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury, Lomachenko, uh, Devin Hank. A lot of these fighters out here got dick riders. And if you say anything bad about a fighter, they come out suited and booted, ready to go to war with you. With their Twitter fingers or their social or social media fingers. Um, sometimes it's best to just let have people have their opinions because that's all they are is opinions. There's not too many facts uh, going around there when it comes to a lot of these arguments around here. Because for one, we're not in these guys caps. We're not none of these boxers. You know, yeah, there's a lot of uh, coaches out here on, on, on social media making videos, making tweets. There's a lot of uh, propaganda lists. There's a lot of promoters. There's a lot of fighters, blah, 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 whoop, 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 out here trying to use their knowledge and their experience to solidify that they're right above a YouTuber or somebody on with their Twitter fingers. And a lot of times these, everybody is, you know, everybody gets shit wrong, but a lot of these trainers, these coaches and these boxers get a lot of shit wrong themselves. Um, I'm talking about when they're talking about outside of themselves and talk about other shit. You know, uh, a lot of the times they get shit wrong themselves. Uh, predictions of fights or whatever the case may be. You know, it's just, it is, it's the name of the game. You know, your favorite team is going to lose sometime. I.E. Deontay Wilder, he lost. I made a video that, that right after that saying he got his ass whooped. I made a video after that. It's like, as far as right now, till I, I made a video talking about the allegations of cheating and everything. And I tried my best to just let it be where it be until Deontay Wilder came out with his, uh, came out and bust a move with the, with the proof and evidence and all that stuff. Cause I didn't think it was going to, I don't think it's a healthy thing, um, for people to go out there. It's not, the, it's not saying that he, that Tyson Fury cheated. It's not saying this and the third. It's how some people, not all, some, some, because I know a lot of people, they can't fucking read and comprehend or listen and comprehend what some people are saying. They get a little bit beside themselves on both on both sides. You know, they want to make it seem like they're, it's, it's all about them and what they know and they're right and can't nobody and all these other cats don't know what they're talking about and blah, blah, blah. We do a whoop. The same thing that we just saw with the arbitration. You know, that's the reason why I said what I said with a lot of the things with the arbitration. But these uh, YouTube beefs and shit like that ain't going to never get you nowhere. Yeah, it might get you some extra subs, get you a couple of extra views and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, it's going to cause nothing but a headache. Nothing but a fucking headache. Nothing but high blood pressure and a headache. People can say, oh, it's not going to do this. But I hear a whole lot of yelling. Hear a whole lot of yelling. You know? So, and nobody can tell me that. Because, you know, I've been through this before. That you don't you don't feel kind of pissed off or some type of way about another man running a mouth about you. Jaw jabbing. <clears throat> That's all under, under, uh, uh, understandable, man. But it seems like all this is... 
started stem from fucking Chris Colbert. Like, I can give a fuck what Chris Colbert got to say. A lot of these boxers got to say, you know, bro, you, you, you know, when it comes to who believes water or not. Everybody ain't going to see everything my way. Everybody ain't going to think like me. Everybody ain't going to think like people in the LDBC or outside the LDBC. So the best thing to do sometimes is just to keep it as their opinions. The more motherfuckers go out and open their mouth about other people that ain't talking about them uh, necessarily, the more off, the more susceptible you're going to be off to stress, you know, um, I can see if it was, you, you know, I, but, you know, as far as how you handle it, you know, I'm not trying to tell nobody what to do, you know, because, you know, I have done it and stuff like that. But, you know, was that was a lot of that shit worth it? No. Um, hooting and hollering? No. But uh, did feel good at the time. But the, but at the end of the day, folks are just going to say what they're going to say. And ain't nothing nobody can do. On YouTube to stop it. Ain't 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 ain't, ain't none of ain't nobody on YouTube as uh as far as when it comes to boxing talk is gonna go and knock on somebody. Well, you better not. Not on mine. Not on some of these niggas' doors. It's gonna really go out of their way to go find somebody and go knock on their door and be like, "Hey, let's fight because you said something about Tyson Fury. You said something about AJ. You said something about Deontay Wilder." <clears throat> <clears throat> ain't nothing these cats doing affecting hey, is going to affect your life. Ain't nothing they saying on YouTube is going to affect your life. Nothing. You know? You know, and it goes for everybody. Everybody out there. You know, somebody going to say, well, if you got to say this, well, that's what Blood said. And I, I believe he says something like, if somebody got to say something bad about Chris Colbert, blah, 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 woo, woo, because what he said about this, blah, 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 woo, woo, woo. Well, Chris Corber has some bad things to say about Deontay Wilder, and he said it on social media, and so that gives the right for anybody to say anything, have their opinion on him. Whether or not it's I am ill will, me or whoever. Now, I don't give a fuck what he say because it's just his opinion. It don't make him right, even because he's a boxer doesn't make him right. Some people try to make seem seem like because he's right, that gives them a one-up on what Deontay Wilder's claims is, and what the LDBC is saying, and whatever, and, and other people are saying about Tyson Fury cheating, or about how the overall thing and the arbitration went. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> None of my business. I don't give a fuck, because I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just their opinion. I know a lot of people out there using that to make money, um, um, taking it and using them. I, I know it was Ness, I think it was Ness who I was asking the questions, but. You know, it is what it is. You know, I'm pretty sure Chris Colbert is going to win this weekend. Um, but, you know, when is he ever going to get a fight? A real fight. You know, uh, I don't know. You, you know what I'm saying? But when that happens, I'm pretty sure he had fared pretty well. But we'll see. But I'm, as far as YouTube beefs, man, I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all don't, and see, this is the thing. People's going to be over here, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you a fence writer. Okay, that's fine. Oh, you a cool. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I don't give a fuck. Because at the end of the day, at least, see, if, if you actually listen to me, I mean, listening to me, you would get the gist that I've been trying to keep the peace. I, 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 I've been talking to a lot of people trying to keep the peace. Because at the end of the day, it, you know, I'm on here just I'm here I'm on here to talk about boxing and some other shit. I like having a good boxing conversation. I don't like to necessarily always talk about Deontay Wilder, uh, Edward Hearn, AJ Fury. I like to talk about the boxing matches that I want to see. I like to talk about it with people. I like to just talk about random shit with boxing about fighters. That 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 I either I can't remember they fights or get 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 my memory jogged up on them or don't remember them and get my memory jogged up on them. Uh, talking about current fighters, I like I like hearing what other people got to say when it comes to the sport of boxing or why they think that Wilder would lose his next fighter or why Tyson Fury um, is this, why Deontay Wilder is that. I like to hear what people actually <clears throat> have to say. 
about these fighters. Like, not just their shit house and this and the third. I like to hear people break it down. And I don't hear that much of, of, of people breaking, breaking it down. You know what I'm saying? On both sides of that spectrum. So, um, you know, when it, <clears throat> you know, it's just unfortunate, man. But these type of things is bound to happen uh, on YouTube. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They just bound to happen. You know, <clears throat> it's just the nature of the beast. Is is I don't, you know, it don't make me think different, more different about blood boxing or I am it will. It's just something that's just gonna have to run its course. You know, um, I'm not saying this because because of some weird shit going on. It's just. You know, on YouTube, somebody's just going to have to get it. You know, I've been through it. A couple of other homies been through it. So it's just, it's just, it's just what it is, you know. Um, you, you, I, don't, I don't see how um, people can't just, you know, <clears throat> you know, just, just leave people names out their mouth. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, whether or not who did it, because I don't really know. I know I was on there, but I was at work and uh, I don't have all day to be listening, tuning in to people's channels. But uh, I heard I heard enough to get the gist uh, about what happened, man. But it was unfortunate. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, like I said earlier, you know, I know blood boxing has been, you know, insinuating the LDBC for quite some time. Uh, but, you know, like how anybody else is, you know. You don't got to like everything what they say. And people can sit over this like, well, I never heard you say anything to him about this. <clears throat> well, nigga, I typed in the damn chat whether or not he chose to see it or not. Or he too much shit was going on his channel for him to see or he was too busy talking like the rest of us. He didn't see it, but it is what it is. You know, um, there's dick riders everywhere on social media when it comes to boxing. No matter who you're talking about, there's dick riders everywhere. Some people that's just that's just in them. The ride, the ride to, to, to be, and there's nothing. You know what? There's nothing wrong with being a fanboy. There's nothing wrong with being an overzealous fan. You know, <clears throat> um, nobody says nothing about the Oakland Raiders fans doing that shit. The Raiders, well, not Oakland anymore, but whatever they, uh, Las Vegas, or LA, uh, Las Vegas uh, Rams. I mean, uh, Las Vegas Raiders. Nobody says nothing about they fans. Nobody says nothing about these Boston fans. These some of these um, these Laker fans. Um, it's just the nature of the game. You know what I'm saying? People are going to, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, half the majority of the time in sports, that's the people that really, that really pay the bills that keep the lights on in them stadiums. You know what I'm saying? So you know, there's nothing wrong with it, you know, but, be, but the, 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 being a dick rider is different because being a dick rider, um, and the overzealous fan to me is two different things. A dick rider never admit to anything. A dick rider will will allow his judgment him or her or it whatever judgment to be so fucking clouded to where <clears throat> it will get in the way of the progress of the whole sport community as a whole you know what i'm saying they will they they will be up in there making their fans look bad um by their actions you know what i'm saying they, 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 you, you know, they, 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 they don't think clearly. You see it with Wilder. You see it with AJ. You see it with Tyson Fury. They got like a, a police squad. You say something and then just all of a sudden people you never heard of come come through uh, and just start commenting. You'd be like, where the fuck they come from? How the fuck you even find me? You see it all the time. You see it on my videos, a uh, recent video uh, I made about Counterpunch. He got overzealous fans. Well, you would call those dick riders. He has them. Everybody has them. But I don't think there's nothing wrong being a, uh, what'd you call it? A fa That's what I meant, over, not overzealous, but a fanboy. There's nothing wrong with it. There's, uh, I seriously don't think there's nothing wrong with it. People make it seem bad, but there's nothing wrong with it. If you want to ride with Deontay Wilder like that, you know, ain't nothing wrong with it. But everything, everything you do on social media, man, comes with consequences. Everything you do. Um, everything you, you type, everything you say, um, is everything you repost, tweet, retweet, um, it's going to come with consequences, you know, 
and people could take it how they want to. But damn for sure, I'm not going to be sitting up over here uh, blowing a, a blood vessel. You know, I, I see, uh, you know, blood boxing is like, you know, <clears throat> one of the uncles of YouTube boxing, right? Some of it that he says to me, I take it as crit um, constructive criticism. Because he's not just talking about the LDBC. He's talking about a lot of people out there that just don't allow people to have their opinions. You know, and you got to and blood boxing is the first dude I f start following on YouTube and he never switched it up. And after quite some time, it looked like he kind of got fed up with dick riders. That's what it kind of seemed like. He got fed up with dick riders as a whole. Now, whether or not he got kicked out of the LDBC or never a part of it or whatever the case may be, that's be that's between him and 78. I ain't got nothing to do with it. But what, what I'm going to finish this off is, man, you know, no matter what, every, what, what, no matter what side of the spectrum you are on with boxing, no matter what you said about anybody, man, I wish y'all all the best. Um, God bless. Uh, good health and all that, man. I, I don't have no ill wills. Uh, towards nobody, uh, I'm not. I'm not over here trying to go to fist cuffs nobody. Uh, I try my best to uh, to reconcile with King Louis, but he didn't want to uh, because it doesn't make any sense for two brothers uh, to be sitting up over here fighting on YouTube in a, in a bunch of in a, in, a, in a front of a whole bunch of white folk. Um, if if y'all want to be blackity black, you might as well say it like that. Um, so shout out to the LDBC and everybody stay sucker free.